Welcome back to another episode of Deja's Disco. I'm Deja and you're watching Deja's Disco. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Woo! Welcome back to another episode. I'm so glad you joined me. If you're new to the disco, welcome. Woo! And if you're a returner, thank you for returning. <laughs> Today's episode of Deja's Disco is what we like to call Spanish Sunday. Hey, 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 hey. For those of you that don't know, Spanish Sundays is a segment of Deja's Disco where we take out a little time every week to just learn a little Spanish. We're not aiming to be experts, but listen, if it happens, I ain't mad about it, okay? I'm just here to have fun, and I thought I'd bring you along the journey with me. <laughs> the tool that I like to use for teaching and learning Spanish is Duolingo. I like it because it's easy, they make it simple for beginners to be able to catch on, and on top of that, it's free. Okay. <laughs> but yes, we'll get into our lesson with Duolingo today. Before we hop into the lesson, I want y'all to see my glasses. For the Christmas season. If you take a real close look, you can see it says, let's get Elf up. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? At the end of the episode, we'll take a cheers and we'll have a funky good time. Yeah. Today we're drinking mango peach pineapple juice, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but it came from Kroger. Now I wanted to try it. And you know, we love to try new things right here. Oh, speaking of try new things, I got a little snack for us. It's called Turkish Delight. And if you don't know what a Turkish delight is, have you ever seen the Chronicles of Narnia, the Lion of Witch and the Wardrobe, when he was like, he went with the Ice Queen or the Snow Queen, whatever the title is, he was with her and she had these little snacks and she pulled out of her little cap and he was like, a Turkish delight. You like my British accent? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's, it's called a Turkish delight. And of course they're from Turkey. It's got almonds, honey, and uh, apricot, apricot, and I'm the country. Apricot, apricot, tomato, tomato. So yes, we're trying that today. Oof, let's get into it, honey. Okay, you get yours first. Okay, I'm, gonna just, I'm gonna just slide it to you right there. All right, you got yours. Now I'm about to get mine. Let's hold it up and try it together. Cheers. Mm, okay. I feel like I got powdered sugar all on my mouth. Girl, this is good. Almond, honey, and apricot. Mm. Yeah. Girl, this is good. Only 80 calories? What a nice, cute little snack. Mmm. Okay. You want the last one? Here you go. Oh, I got it from my local international market, and as soon as I passed in, I, I was like, oh my gosh. Ah, it's the Turkish Deloitte. I, I always wanted to try this. Solely because I saw it in Chronicles of Narnia, okay? I just want to try it. And it's fine. I'll be getting over here. So thank you, Turkish Delights. One last thing. If you've been around the disco for quite some time, you know that at the end of every episode, we give an encouraging word that is written right here on this green card. So stick around to the end. You don't want to miss it. Let's get to the lesson. We're going to make it real quick, y'all, okay? So this is section one, unit one. And this is lesson four of four. I think this is the last lesson until we move into the purple section. We have come a long way. Oh my goodness. Let me not delay us anymore. Let's get into it. Let's wrap up this level. Ooh, it, ooh, we almost done, y'all. Okay. Okay. I'm getting hot. Oh, did y'all see my sweater? I didn't even show y'all my sweater. Hey, 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 hey. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, I hope y'all, y'all like my Christmas sweater. Ah! <laughs> I got it from Target. Let me see the name of this tag on the back. Just kidding, I got it from Forever 21. <laughs> I had gotten it years ago and I just pull it out every year just to get a good laugh out of the fam. Look at a little Santa on the inside, isn't it cute? <laughs> yes. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. All right, let's get back to the lesson. I'm getting distracted. All right. Translate this sentence. Yes, I am sorry. Yes is C. I is yo. Am is soy. Sorry is lo siento. I'm out of breath. And I got to sneeze. <laughs> don't you know when you got to sneeze and it don't come out? Mm. They say it, say elephant repeatedly and then it'll go away. Elephant, 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 elephant. 
I don't know if I believe it or not, but I ain't got to sneeze no more, so maybe it does work. <laughs> you see? Oh, actually, your soy isn't, so I is, I am is your soy, but you can, but, but sorry is already like, I am sorry. So you can just say lo siento. So si, lo siento. Siento. Yeah, there it is, right there. Buenas noches. Type the missing word. Let's try it again. I'll run my mouth. Gracias. Buenas noches. Gracias. No, Gracias means doing? thank you. So, gracias. Yeah. Let's go. De nada, Luis. De nada, Luis. Translate this in this. De nada, Luis. Thank you, Luis. Oops. <laughs> gracias means thank you. De nada means you're welcome. You would think I know what I'm doing by now. You're welcome. No, you are welcome. You, preach, you are welcome, Luis. Whew, okay. Do you speak English? Tu habla. When I'm talking about me, I say tu habla. When I'm talking about you, I say tu hablas. So tu hablas with an S. English. Uh huh. Yeah. Complete the sentence. Yo blank espanol. He's holding up a Spanish flag. So hablo. Hablo. Uh huh. Uh, yes. Yeah. Speak. I love me to speak. <laughs> okay. Complete the sentence. Yo, hablo for me. So yo is I. Hablo. So yo is I. So that means that we're referring to me. But tu is you. So that means that we're referring to you. So hablo is for me. Hablo. Hablas is for you. Hablas. Hablas. Uh huh. <laughs> Tu hablas espanol, si. Okay. Complete the sentence. Lo siento. Perdón. Perdón means excuse me. Perdón. Mm -hmm. Yes! Complete the sentence. Yo hablo espanol. This is the same thing hablo. that they had to do earlier. Hab okay. Hab yeah. Okay. And that one with a little repetition. Complete the sentence. Si. What is that? Milk? Yeah. Child, good thing they had that cow there. I want to know what that was. See, <laughs> si, leche, gracias. Yes, milk, please. Yes, milk, thank you. Leche. Who says, who says yes, milk like that? Anyways, nevertheless, here we go with the I same thing know. over and I over again. I think we're gonna get some real challenging questions. Come on, let's go. See, si, le, agua. This is agua. Agua. Mm -hmm. Por favor, means please. Yep. this lesson because normally I miss something. Well, honey, good job. <laughs> normally I miss a question. That just means we're improving and getting better. So yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm proud of me and I hope you're proud of you too because I'm proud of you. <laughs> Way to go. You challenge yourself to step out of your mindset, you try something new, and you learn something along the way. Now if that ain't a good day, I don't know what it is. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's take a cheers. And here, let me pass you yours. Here's yours. Ew. All right, you got it? Okay. All right, I got mine. Let's cheers to another wonderful episode of Spanish Sunday. <laughs> Toast it up. Let's see what this juice hitting on. Mm. It really ain't bad. I think it's because I had it after the Turkish Delight. You know when you eat something sweet and then you drink something sweet right after that? You know, mix real. <laughs> but I, I'm pretty sure this is really good too. But yeah, give yourselves a round of applause. All right, y'all, our time together has almost come to an end. But before we go, I think you know what time it is. Most times, the encouraging word of the week comes from an experience I encountered or it could come from a situation that a friend had. Or child, it just come from God himself. Sometimes he'll just whisper in my ear and tell me something that he wants you to know. <laughs> All right, so without further ado, drum roll please. The encouraging word of this week is intimacy. Now I know what you're thinking, intimacy. Now Deja, I don't know who you're talking about, but I'm interested, so go ahead. 
So one of my friends and I were watching this movie and the storyline from what I perceived it to be. So there was a person who was really shy, wasn't really confident and didn't really know how to go after the things she wanted in life. And one day she looks into the mirror, realizes that her reflection is moving. Like she'll go left and the reflection will go right. And so now like she's having a whole dialogue with the reflection. Fast forward a little farther down the story, the reflection tells her that if she wants to be better and be, be stronger, that the reflection could take over for her and, and do what needed to be done so that she wouldn't have to do it. So in order for them to switch places in the mirror, they kissed in the mirror. And in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm interested to see how this goes down. So now the reflection is on the other side, living the same life that the original version was living, only better, stronger, more confident, you know? And so, turns out that wasn't the whole story baseline. <laughs> Apparently, the girl who was in the reflection was the unborn twin. And so they kiss in the mirror, as soon as they put their hands together in the mirror and kiss, they swap places. And now the evil reflection is about killing people and doing all kind of dirty deeds. So I got a, I got a whole different interpretation of that movie. But from what I experienced and perceived was that in order for you to be more confident and to be more comfortable and really sure with who you are, you need to get intimate with yourself. You need to become okay with being intimate with yourself. Now, what does that mean? Talking to yourself in journaling form or sometimes just flat out, I write, talk to yourself, honey. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but how you gonna talk to somebody else if you can't even talk to yourself? That's always been my quote. <laughs> in a serious note, just being able to sit in a room by yourself, go on a date with yourself, um, buy yourself nice things every once in a while, talk nicely to yourself by putting up post-its and writing affirmations on the wall. You know, we've all heard these things before, but it's really different when you actually be intentional about being intimate with who you are and getting to know yourself. You'll be surprised what you learn when you become okay with the idea of who you really are. Get to know yourself and get to loving yourself. Whatever that may look like for you. Don't do it for your friends, don't do it for your family. You do it for you, okay? <laughs> All right, y'all, this has been a phenomenal episode of Daisy Disco. I'm so glad that you joined me on today on this special Spanish Sundays. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in with me. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss a beat right here on the disco. All right, y'all, that's it. I love you. I hope you have a phenomenal day and a phenomenal week. Bye-bye. <laughs>